Hi everyone, Luke here from ZMass Productions. Uh, so yeah, to start things off really quick, we're going to be changing our movie reviews of Was It Worth It to calibrated reviews so that it matches our retro reviews that we're doing called recalibrated reviews. Makes sense, right? So before we even do that, I wanted to do a really quick uh, editorial slash review on the movie Crimson Peak. I just got back from seeing it, and it is an amazing piece of art that you need to go see right now if you're interested in seeing it. Seriously, go go see this movie. I can't <laughs> I can't really say too much too much without giving anything away. So this is gonna be, actually be a spoiler-free, quick little review. Uh, basically, it's a really well-told ghost story. Uh, we don't get those now these days. We get these really weird, awkward horror movies that bank on jump scares and other stuff and have no plot that's worth it and characters that you don't care about. Well, this movie develops the characters for you. The whole first act is story development, character development, and then it jumps into the second act where it kind of turns more into a mystery because you're not sure what's going on anymore. And then the third act is just all payoff. And what I mean by payoff is it's not like big explosions blowing up in your face and stuff just happening that's going crazy. No, it's subtle payoff. Uh, the whole movie banks on a lot of uh, foreshadowing. So even when you're predicting something, you're not sure whether that prediction is going to pay off. And then it does, and it pays off in either little subtle nods or little ways, like everything just intricately placed, allowing you to just enjoy the movie. Um, which is rare for me, because normally when I see a horror movie, a suspense, a mystery, anything like that, I have a tendency to pick things apart until I get bored. This movie did not do that for me. It kept me invested. And so, ready, that's top tier. Um, the acting is great. It's, I'd almost say, amazing. Um, it's got, there's very subtle intricacies in their acting, even. Like, even Charlie Hunnam, who plays a very kind of side character for the most part. Uh, he has an amazing performance for what he's given and what he has to do. And he's just well-directed. It's just... A really well put together movie and so that being said i just wanted to let you guys know if you're a supporter of art you're interested in this movie go see it as soon as you possibly can support actual legitimate movies <laughs> with great stories great art great direction great just everything because if i were to compare this to a movie from any other genre i would probably the only movie i can compare it to for being good at what it does and what it is is Mad Max Fury Road. It's a Mad Max Fury Road of ghost stories. There you go. That's all you need to know. Go see it. We might do a complete spoiler-filled review later if Jeremy sees it, etc. But for now, go see this movie. Thanks for this first ever quick little editorial, and I look forward to seeing you guys um, when we start collaborated reviews. Calibrated reviews. There we go. Calibrated reviews. <laughs> um, and... Also remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow, all that good awesome shit. And uh, comment below if you've seen the movie. I'd like to hear what you thought of it. Remember, try to keep it spoiler free. If you liked it, let me know why. If you disliked it, let me know why. Thanks for watching. I'm going to turn everything off.